My sustainable home is located in San Diego, California, and we will be using solar panels for my energy source. And for our water, we'll get it from an underground well, and for the wastewater, we'll do a septic tank. Um, for my building materials, I will be using concrete and brick. Concrete is not super eco-friendly, but brick is, and it can last up to 100 years, and that will help me not have to rebuild my home several times. <laughs> Um, for my air conditioning, we're going to do solar power powered air conditioning too, and that will also save a lot of money and power electricity. My garden's going to be 100 feet by 150 feet, and in the winters, I will grow carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and lettuce. During the spring, I'll grow peppers and green beans and corn. During the summer, I would like to grow some cantaloupe and some watermelon. And then during the fall, I'll probably plant some beets and some peas. Um, in my waste management, I'm going to be doing composting, which is a great way to get rid of any food or any scraps like that. And anything that's not biodegradable will be put into a trash can and taken to a landfill once a week or twice a week. The cost will be about 15000 to 25000 a year with the solar panels. And instead of a washer and dryer, I will be doing a water basin and washboards, which is what they did in the old days, and that's been around for centuries. One thing I learned while doing this project is there are so many different ways to live sustainably and to make a good sustainable home, all while saving money. Something that surprised me was how many different ways there are to be sustainable and how you can be have a sustainable home. <laughs> right now, one thing I'd like to implement in my home to make it more sustainable is a garden. So we would grow more food. Um, I think that would be kind of cool and be sustainable. <laughs>